Hi, how are you? Do you know that very soon it's going to be um, Mother's Day? And if, if you got a letter from me, you might have gotten this as a letter. And what this is, is this is a little Mother's Day gift you can make for your mom. Now, you can cut, you can... You can follow my example, or you can make your own. It's really up to you. But the whole idea is that a lot of times, if you were with me, and you weren't having to stay home, I would be helping you make a Mother's Day gift. And so when you get it, cut out, cut out the teapot, and you're going to cut out the teapot, and while you're cutting it out, I, I, you, I have a job for you, and that job is, can you think about how amazing your mom is? Just think about all the things she does that make you happy. Now, I am sure there are days you wake up and you're like, Rrr. but you know, Mother's Day is not about that. Mother's Day is about remembering the many, many, many things that your moms do to bless you. And what we're doing here is we are making a teapot card, and I'm hoping that you and your dad or you and your uncle or you and your siblings can find a tea bag. And, you know, if, um, if you can't find a tea bag, then maybe you can think of something else to put in, like, I don't know, like a dollar or something like that. But it, it's going to be given to you like this. Do you see this? Like this. And you're going to cut it out, and, you're, and then you're going to draw on it. So you can do anything you want. You can draw in this and make it look pretty. So you can draw that. You can fill in that. You can fill in, I don't know if, if you know what it says. It says, Happy Mother's Day. And then inside, it says, so let's see. So it says, Happy Mother's Day. And then inside... It says you're terrific, you're terrific, and um, then you're gonna put a tea bag. Um, I have a tea bag here. You're gonna put a tea bag. You're gonna tape a tea bag or more. If you have five tea bags, you can put five tea bags. You're gonna put a a tea bag on your you're terrific. And then you're going to tape it together and put your mom's name or put the word mom. And then what you're giving your mom is you're giving her a tea bag. And then what I want to encourage you to do is give her time to, to, to drink the tea all by herself. You might want to rub her feet or you might want to, you know, sing a song for her or watch your siblings. But just make it a special treat. Um, tomorrow... I'll be sharing you about a little jar you can make. This I couldn't send to you, but something you can make for your mom that can really bless her, and you don't need a lot of help. Um, can you think of something you can do? One thing that, that all kids could do, and I have a funny story to tell you about it. So what you would do is you can make a booklet. So you take a piece of paper like this, and you would cut it in half. And then um, you can choose how you want to do it. But I think I'm going to do it this way. So let's see. I'm going to try to make it in thirds. And, you know, the key to this is to make it special for your mom. Now, the interesting thing about this is one time my husband, when my oldest son was really little, bought one of these. And what this is, it's a coupon book. book. Okay, so do you see how it has all these pieces of paper in it? Okay, it's a coupon book. And you can do this for Mother's Day, for your mom's birthday. Um, I know several ladies whose birthdays fall on Mother's Day some. Mine comes really close, but it's never on the same day. It's just sometimes really close. Well, anyhow, my husband, well, look at that. See, now I've got my little coupon book. My husband bought a coupon book to give to me for Mother's Day and then my son had to sign it. The funny thing is, is my son was really little. He was really little. And he was like, one day he came, Hurra! 
crying. And he's like, Mom. And I'm like, yeah, are you okay? And he goes, do I have to do everything I said I was going to do in the coupon book? <laughs> I laughed. Of course, you know, didn't matter to me. But I would say to you is if you're going to make a coupon book, if it's going to be something you're going to give to your mom to say, hey, I love you and I will do this for you, think about it. You know, don't just say, I am going to make my bed without complaining. Give it to her. And then what she should be able to do is she should be able to say, oh, look, I'm having a really tough day. And I would really like your bed to be made without complaining today. And she would give it to you. But you have to remember that you need to be ready to do that for her. Just like giving her space to have a cup of tea and taking the time to making this teapot really pretty. Um, the, the coupon book, you want to do the same thing. So I love making cool letters. So I am going to make one here. Problem is, um, my mommy is already in heaven. So I can't give my mommy this, but I could give this to somebody to give to their mom. So then when you make that, okay, then I like to do designs. So on the, on the M, I'm going to put a whole bunch of little dots. Do you see that? But then on my next one, I'm going to put lines. Do you love making things for your mom? I do too. Look at that. Okay. And then the next one, got to get another color here. I'm going to get pink. I think I'm going to make swirls. Oh, I love the swirls. See the swirls? Do you see them? Mom. M-O-M. Now, the rest of the book is up to you. What are things that your mom would like? Okay, I'm a mom, and these are some things I would like. Taking care of my pets without complaint. Space, free time. Like, I'm bored, mom, but I'm not going to bother you today. Um, making a meal. And when you say, oh, Pastor Rebecca, I don't know how to cook. Could you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and pour some milk and chips and stuff like that. Those are meals too. Um, there are so many things. Uh, my feet, I love to have my feet rubbed. Um, I like to dance. So like if my daughter said, hey mom, I will dance with you. Like, you know, just have a dance party and I won't tell you how awful you dance. Oh, I would love that as a coupon. Um, I would love for my daughter to read to me or even let me read to her. So there's so many things you can do. So this this week, you have a whole week. Um, Mother's Day in the year 2020 is May 10th. You have a whole week to make something. These are two ideas. I'm going to come up with more ideas, but I hope you enjoy them. Please know that I love you. I hope you're practicing your C's. Continue to pray. Connect with others, capture your thoughts, um, uh, count your blessings, your mom. You know, you could even make this, if it's not going to be a coupon book, not like I will do this for you. How about a book on how much you love your mom? Like, I love, so, so my mom, even though she's in heaven, I could say, oh, this would be so easy for me. So page one would be laughing. And so I, I've learned a really new way to make a, a person, and I kind of like it. So what I would do is I would make this face, and then I would make some a bubbles, and I would go ha, 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 and I would say, Mom, I love to laugh with you. And that would be that would be my number one page. And then number two, 
I would say, Mom, I love you when you tell me your stories. Because my mom's stories were amazing. She lived in Africa. And when she, even when she was little, one time my mom, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. She was in a, an outhouse. She locked the outhouse from the inside. And her and a little girl were in there. And she told the little girl, do you want to see how far I can get down? And she got herself way down into the potty part of the outhouse and got stuck. And then the little girl couldn't unlock the door. And so they had to yell for, 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 their, for my mommy's mom, whose name was um, Mrs. Sykes. She had to go, Mrs. Sykes, we're stuck in the outhouse. Oh, and my mom would tell me that. I would laugh and laugh and laugh. Can you ask your mom to tell you tell her your store her stories? She will love telling you stories. I was starting to say goodbye and then I got caught up in stuff. So have a good day. Remember to keep Christ first and stay clean. Bye.